Good morning. Good morning. I'm Mary. I'm Linda. We're sisters in the kitchen. Pinky Mall sisters in the kitchen. Welcome. <laughs> and um, we're going to be doing something, a very simple potato salad today. We had had requests yeah, for us to make potato salad and everybody makes it different. I'm sure Linda makes it different than I do, but mine's not really a fancy one. I know my pastor in uh, Angleton, Sister Green, she done German potato salad. Did she? Yeah, and it was good. Um, she put bacon in it. She okay. Put bacon in it. And that's basically the, the difference. Now, I've already cooked the potatoes this morning. And uh, I just covered the potatoes. I chopped them up in, in, in squares, or not squares, but cubes or whatever. Um, I didn't, they're not the same, but I mean, they're tried. I did them the best yeah. I could. You cover your potatoes, put some salt in them, and boil them. Uh, I timed it this morning, 10 minutes. <laughs> okay. I, when I did the recipe, I kind of guessed at the time, but I kind of, I knew about what it was. And it takes about 10 minutes for them to cook. But you don't want them, at least I don't, I don't want them so salt that they turn into mashed potatoes. That's why I did them ahead of time, because I wanted them to be cold so they'd still be in cubes. Now, now, now what I need to do is get our eggs on the boil. I did not boil the eggs ahead of time because it only takes 10 minutes. I got some eggs in here. Now I'm going to cover them with cold water. I cover them about an inch above the um, eggs. And I also... Um, I, I put salt in my eggs. Do you? Yeah, can you boil it? I do. I just put some salt in there. And uh, it don't really get in the egg anyway. I, I don't know why but that's what I do. I, was right. I guess that's what my mama does and that's what I do. Anyway, once these starts boiling, I turn the burner down. I don't want them to do a rolling boil, but I want them to boil for 10 minutes. Now, uh, now let me get do one more thing. I also, I make a potato salad this morning we are um but i thought well let's have i want to do something to go with it so i've done some ribs yeah. and they <laughs> smell good this is uh pepper chef's new lot of uh quick cooker right and i put these on this morning i seasoned them i made up my own rub my own barbecue rub it's got uh let me see i wrote it down i because i just took stuff out of the cabinet wrote it down I've got salt, brown sugar, black pepper, paprika, garlic powder, chili pepper, chili powder, cayenne pepper, and smoky barbecue rub that's pampered shelf. Yeah, I love that. And dry mustard. It's just a, it's just a rub, and that's what I rubbed it with. And um, now I'm going to turn this off. This has been cooking. It co I, I cooked it for 45 minutes. And it has been on warm for an hour and 45 minutes. So it's been ready. It stayed on warm for, what, hour and, what, what did it say? Hour and it was an hour and 44 minutes. Okay. okay. That's the good thing about these cooker. Once it's cooked, you don't have to worry about it. If you get busy doing something else, it will just go in a warming mode and stay warm. And I love that. And because it's been sitting, normally we let the steam out. But see that, and that tells you that I can open this. You can, it's got the things on the side too, Mary. Huh? That you can, you can uh, put your, it's, there's one on each side. Yeah, I know. Uh, probably, um, oh, oh, there, I guess they're in the back. Yes, in the back. But I don't know if it'll do it on this with the cabinet here. Okay. I see what you can see. It has a thing you can hold the lid up there. But I can't, thank you, Linda. I can't do it. Um, I, I don't know. I didn't know how long to put this ribs. So, I may cook, I may do it some more, but I'm going to, no, come here, show them. <laughs> They're done. Fall off the bone? Yeah. <laughs> Try to pick one up. Can you get this one? I had to cut it and square it. Look at there. <laughs> that bone fell off, and that was for 45 minutes. I made some ribs Sunday, but I did the country style ribs. Okay. There's more meat on them, um, and uh, I done them before Sunday school. And uh, matter of fact, they were ready before I left, but oh they stayed goodness. warm. Did you leave it on warm uh -huh. while you were gone? Yeah. They just fall in the heart. And now you know what I'm going to do? There's a little bit of meat in there. 
of uh, honey and I'm gonna uh, get these I'm gonna get these ribs out of the the reason I'm doing this is because uh, I'm gonna get this out of the oven. Did you put any liquid in the quick cooker? Yes one cup and I put I put some of this rub seasoning in the water. I started to put the what I cook Sunday I put broth beef broth in it. This little bowl's got measurements in it, so you, you don't even actually have to have a measurement with this. You can see where it's a half a cup. Yeah, it sure is in it. Yeah. Just pour, pour some honey in that. And that's where I'm going to brush the top of this barbecue bit. You said about two tablespoons. Yeah, right? probably about two tablespoons, Linda. I'm just guessing. Um, now, this is what I've been cooking for three hours. I don't know. Could be done or not, but we're gonna see. Give me a fork and I mean, Mary, do you want this mixed up? Yes, that there's a little. Okay, I have a little list out somewhere or another. Okay. Yep, they're done. But this just took three hours. Now I'm gonna put all of this. I'm gonna put all of this on the phone. I'm gonna put this over on that pan. Okay. So that's on the bar. too much like ketchup okay you know you could put brown sugar in yes this. you could you could do brown sugar but too. i thought i just I did it on half <laughs> so that's about three tablespoons yeah yeah that it. this is just for a glaze you do this Linda and I'll fix that oven. I'm gonna turn I turn this oven off and turn the broil on. Because I'm gonna turn I'm gonna boil it. Okay my eggs are boiling so I'm gonna turn it down and time it 10 minutes. I want my eggs hard hard boiled. That rib that I put in the oven was about two, a little over two pounds. And what I put in the um, quick cooker was a little over four pounds. Can you open that room? But I'm just gonna um, broil these for just a few minutes, just to kind of glaze. And I hope I put enough honey in it. Did you take the membrane off first? I did, yes, I did. Uh, and I'll tell you about taking that membrane off. It's hard for me to do, but I have figured out if you uh, do it at the at the end of a small part of the rib, 
you can, it just seems I get a hold of it better. And sometimes, I didn't have to this morning, sometimes I have to get the pliers and pull it because it's so hard to pull off. But uh, this morning, I didn't. I, this morning, I, it used about Do you want the rest of the sound? Uh, no, that's okay. Uh, I, um, I just got a hold of it uh, on, on, the, on the small end and pulled it off. That was good. You think Mike would eat some of these? Well, I don't. <laughs> Sorry. I'm going to put this, I'm not going to put this on the top rack because I don't want to do the garden roller. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now, we got our eggs boiling. Now we can mix up our mixture. There's a bowl over there, Linda. That one. Yes, please. Thank you. I'm going to unplug this. This cooker's got an on and off switch on the back, which our old one didn't have. I'm going to turn it off. Uh, that's a good, be some good broth to make some, some cook some potatoes in or, or um, and gravy you or something. How much liquid did you put in there? cup. And it, and it yeah. cooked all that yeah. out. Yeah, because it's on freeze. Okay, so those eggs are, are on a slow boil. Now, Linda, I will I will put the stuff in there and let you mix it for okay. me if you don't mind. All right, and I got my I normally just start dip throwing it in there, but I'm gonna try to measure. It's hard to measure something yeah. when you're used to, to I just this out of putting the, the stuff in there. And it, it's hard for me to measure this. I put on the recipe. Um, I did put on the recipe how much, but but and I will do it because I but I normally just put it in there. Bob, Bobby used to say you didn't measure, right? Yeah. I, I tell you the reason that I'm putting this in this bowl and mixing it first. Two reasons. One reason is because I don't uh, because I wrote the measurements down, and that might not be exactly right. If you'll put that in there for me, Linda. That's what I put on the mage stuff. So we'll leave that like that is. And um, and if you don't need it all, you won't have it all in Exactly. Your it won't be in my potatoes. So that's why I'm doing that. And another thing is to mix all this up together so it's all blended. And you're not bad. And you're, you're not, not scrambling. I don't want to mash the potatoes. All right. Now. One thing that I've already done on my boiled potatoes, when I took them out, I drained them and put them in another bowl so they could cool. I also put about two tablespoons of dill, pickle juice. Oh, wow. To, so while they're hot, it kind of gets soaks so it up a little bit. So I've already done that. All right, now, I put, um, get a spoon here. Um, and like I said, I'm measuring this just because I gave y'all risk of measurements because, um, I use dill reddish. Do you, Linda? Do you use a reddish or do you chop them up? Mike uses the relish. I chop mine up. And, and you know, I mean, it's just everybody does it yeah. different. But yeah. For years, we did use relish. And Mike will, too, if he's making it. He'll use relish. I like to bite into a pickle on my table salad. I, like, I do. I like them a little it, bit bigger. Yeah. Than the I, I would, um, um, I started to do that. And then I said, no. This is, uh, what is it? This is dill relish here. I put dill and sweet in mine, did you? Yeah, I did too. sure did. Okay, now I'm going to... Now, yeah, I'm going to put... And honestly, I think I put in the recipe up the same amount of each, but I really normally put more dill than I do sweet. Yeah, I do too. Do you? Yeah, I and do. I put in the recipe equal parts, so it doesn't matter. We do them different, different times, different ways. I don't always do it the same. That in there, please. Get these two things out of the way. That smells so good. I love pickles. Carla doesn't like pickles. No, she don't. <laughs> All right, now. Hi, Carla. <laughs> <laughs> and like I said, I'm measuring this just because that's what I told y'all, and I want to see if I messed up or not. Almost looks like the beginning of tartar sauce, don't it? Yeah. All right, you'll put that mustard. That's not as much mustard as what I put on relish. All right, now I didn't, I couldn't find a little jar 
of the of the slice the of the um bananas. So and they didn't even have diced. I had to get sliced. Oh wow. So I'm gonna put these on here and I'm gonna dice them up a little bit. Okay. I'm only using half of this jar. Are you through with these? I am through with them, yes. And I got a little knife here. I just thought I'd chop them a little bit because they were sliced and I don't want big pieces. So I'm just going to chop them. I thought about getting the food chopper out, but I thought, well, this little knife will do just as good. Yeah, it will. This is just the minnows. Scraper. And, so pretty. And another reason, if you do it like this, you're, well, I, I guess I've already said that, they, you don't chop up your potatoes. You don't, you don't uh, mash your potatoes with that. All right, let me wash my hands. Very, very good. Okay, here piece. I am through with that, Linda. Thank you. And now put some paprika. You're through with the mayo too, right? I am. I need to put that up too, but put a little bit of paprika, not much. And I salt my potatoes when I was cooking them. So I'm gonna put a little more salt in there. But I'm not gonna over salt them because I don't and, and pepper. My pepper I will put the same amount that I put in there. Okay. I think that is it. And now I will put, add this to my potatoes. Move. Thank you, Linda. All right. Now we'll see if my measurements was right. <laughs> I hate to say that, but it's the truth. All right, let me move this out of the way. This is our bowl of potatoes. And this may be way too much. That's why I'm not going to. I have an idea it might be. How many potatoes did you use? Uh, a little over three pounds. I bought a five pound sack and I didn't fill them all. So probably close between three and four pounds. And I definitely got too much, too much filling in here. <laughs> but you gotta add your eggs yet too. Oh, that's right. The eggs are not done. And, and it takes a lot of time. Um, I don't know what you call that. It's not salt. <laughs> yeah. That mixture, because it those potatoes it absorb it. It does. So, but I don't like, oh, you probably want this chopper. Um, for the eggs. Yeah. I'll wash it. Okay. All right. I'm not going to put no more of the sauce in there. So you might want to cut back a little bit on the mayonnaise. The rest of the stuff is okay. Let me taste this. So just cut back on the mayonnaise. All the other measurements are correct. I just wouldn't put as much mayonnaise. No. And it's very dill pickle. <laughs> yeah, very. Looks good. Okay. That's almost done. Yep. And uh, <clears throat> what I do with my boiled eggs, I. Uh, I pour it off and I run cold water over it. And I, then I let them set a few minutes in cold water. And then I pick them and chop them up. And I got an egg thing, but I, I couldn't find it. I got so much stuff to put in my drawers until I had to eliminate something. Oh, okay. That's, I, I forgot about my barbecue. Don't burn the beef. Uh, Really? Oh, oh that looks good. I just wonder uh, if um, what's this? No, turn them. Turn them. I thought that was good. Just wonder good. if we need to turn them over and do the other side. What do you think? I think it's probably enough. No, they don't usually sear both. Do they usually sear both sides? I don't know. I don't. I don't. I, well, I do usually, but that, I'm not going to. I'm gonna turn it on and off. 
so delicious. I hope they are. Uh, those I cooked Sunday. Linda, did y'all like them? I cared y'all some. Yeah, they were very good. They were country style ribs. They, okay. Braden did have a critique, though. Huh? Braden did have a critique. Okay, what did Braden say? He said his beans were too sugary. Did oh. you put sugar in the beans? <laughs> Brown sugar? Yeah. I make baked beans, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm just running cold water over the eggs. I run cold water over the pot because, you know, the pot stays, stays warm. So I run... I run cold water over them, and I just let it run. I empty it. I empty it two or three times. Fill it with cold water, empty it, put more cold water. You can put ice in it to cool them down. I usually don't. I know it. I know it. Uh, doing that for yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. I'm going to... Uh, Fill them up with water. Let them sit there a few minutes. And while we, um, uh, I guess I'll uh, we'll show. Oh, well. I'm just going to go ahead and crack them. I'll bring them over here. Show you. You can let them sit there. No, I was just going to show you. Just roll them around like that. See how they feel. They just come up. If you have to get under that skin that of the egg, if you ever lose that little thing, like I just did, I dropped it, and that's why it's having problems. I saw someone the other day. They cracked it, and they found you know where the air bubble was, yeah. and they took a spoon and they just slipped it right under, it and it just oh, slid yeah. all the way around the egg. That's a, I had never done that, but it's getting under that skin. It's a trick. Do you have a little knife? Oh, do you have the knife out there? Um, I, I had that uh, orange one. I'm trying to find it. A little pair of knife. Did it get put in the water? Put knives in the water. So. Well, maybe it's over there. I don't know. But Easter is coming up. Y'all want to know how to peel, how to cook eggs? That's how I do mine. Oh, I think I mashed that too hard, smashed it. Maybe I didn't. But they just peel, right? They just peel really. Did you find it? No, nope, but I'm looking for uh -huh. I was trying to be helpful. <laughs> you were. I just, I don't ever put knives in the dishwater, and I know well, I, I didn't don't. put it yeah, in there. I knew I didn't either. I keep my, uh, my knives right behind the, the faucet. The faucet, yep. so you know, yeah. Okay, I'm just going to, and if you got an egg, um, I don't know what you call them. Spicer? I've got, yeah, I've got one. I've got one, too. You know what? I've got, what did I do with it? I just recently bought the pepper chip. So you're going to Wichita Falls next weekend. I mean, yeah, this weekend. I'm here for Easter. Yeah, I am. I don't know what I've done with it, so I'll just do it with the knife. See? It's beautiful. No rings around them or nothing. All right. I reckon, uh, get you another knife, Linda. Help me. Uh, Something else that I saw, uh, um, and then several people have commented, they started boiling their eggs uh -huh. or making boiled eggs in their um, quick cookers. Yes, yes, you can do that. I think it's three minutes. 
And I, I oh, even, oh. yeah, I even um, thought about doing that. And then I said, no, I'm gonna do the thrift. I'm gonna do me some ribs. So, this one little shell I missed. Oh, I used to be so particular about the size I cut these. I'm not, I don't do that anymore, but I sure did used to. I well, used to do a lot of that. I'm sorry, here's a bit. Okay. They used to cut rings and put on top of the potato salad yeah. and grate the yellow on the top. Right. All the picnics, they always did that. Yeah, they did. I didn't do it. Okay. That's one thing about these mats. Yeah. <laughs> you work on them, and then you can use them just to put it in there. Now that's the knife. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to see if I have to. I think I am going to have to put some more of this in here. So I'm going to almost use all of it. Yeah. It fools you. Yeah. I knew this was going to be a quick video because by me cooking the meat ahead of time and, and the potato salad. and I was just guessing. Those tomatoes are so pretty in there. I know, it makes it pretty in Yeah. Okay, I think that's enough. Linda, if you'll hand me that bowl, I'll put it in the bowl. We, okay, we, we have almost used them. Show them, Linda, how much I had left. Not much. Hold on. A couple of spoonfuls. Oh, okay, there you go. I probably could put it in here, but I don't want my tater salad thin. You know? Thank you, Linda. I'll, I'll wash this bowl out. This is the medium bowl, kind of chip bowl. This is a pretty big. Yeah, it holds a lot. Yeah, it holds a lot more than you think yeah. it does. I um, I had thought about making baked beans, but since I made baked beans Sunday, I thought no. I didn't make take salad Sunday. I made mac and cheese with, with baked beans. Yeah, to go with the brisket. Not risk it, the ribs. Yeah, this is a big bowl. This will yeah. feed several people. Several Thank people you. are asking about the mats. Oh, those mats that I cut that on? Yes. That's a uh, pepper shell. It's called, um, uh, it's not pastry mat, it's, it's flexible, flexible, flexible mats. Flexible cutting mat set. Yeah. And there's a small set too, but this yeah. is the regular size set. All right. Scrape the bowl. Thank you, Linda. You're welcome. Now I'm going to wash my hands. And that's our potato salad. Uh, and everybody did, like I said, uh, sometimes. Sometimes I don't even put mustard in mine. I do mine different. I we, love mustard. Yeah, potato salad. I like mustard potato salad, but sometimes I don't. Sometimes I just use mayonnaise. So if whatever your preference is, I know Linda, don't you say you put honey mustard? I put honey mustard in she it, and it's mm, uh, yummy. Like but anyway, um, oh, I was gonna get a platter to put that meat on. Let me get a platter. I found everything. Um. So we're going to get another round of weather tonight. I'm hoping no. that it doesn't get bad. And uh, these, these weather uh, systems have been keeping Mike praying. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I've already prayed. <laughs> Mike is not afraid of bad weather either. I'm but not either. He sure doesn't like it when the power goes out. <laughs> I'm not either, but I'll tell you what. Uh, one night last week, it kind of, it kind of gave me, it kind of scared me a little bit. It woke me up. I mean, the wind just, it was like it took a puff to my house. Uh, and um, 
I keep my platters all in the pantry, and so I had to wipe them out. Uh, I can got some more tongs, Linda. I can get these. I'm gonna fix them. Tell you what, they are. Do you ever put paprika on top of your um, yes. salad? Yes, I do. Uh, they're falling off the bottom, aren't yeah, they? Yes. Definitely falling off the bottom. <laughs> I mean, I'm picking them up, and they just, that's what Chuck said about those Sunday. He said, Mother, he said, I went to pick up a rib, and I'm, and it, the bone just fell off. I said, I know, that pressure cooker sure did. I kind of got the, um, I need a uh, rag, Linda. I got my I got my platter in the barbecue sauce. Touch the meat, thank you. You're welcome. I'm sorry, Linda, I moved it. You're good. Yes, yeah, sometimes I do sprinkle paprika on the outside, but I actually put paprika inside this filling. But you could have sprinkled it. You can cut your, you can slice your, some extra boiled eggs in little circles and put on your potato salad. Yeah, that's what mommy gets to do. Uh, but that's going to be our lunch today. And I still actually got a few beans left from Sunday <laughs> if, if we wanted to eat them. It looks delicious. But, um, Linda, did you get a picture? No, uh, because we're <coughs> fixing. I'm going to move it off the okay. camera. Give me two seconds. Okay. We got some thank yous to do. Yes, yes. I, uh, we sometimes, if you wonder, uh, you members, why there's not a picture on the page is because we forget to take the picture. Forget. That's why we told Linda, please take a picture. So I'm going to move this off the camera and so we can uh, show these uh, thank yous. I'm going to that off again. I don't want nothing to get on my table, on my boxes. Linda's already opened hers. Uh, it came to her house. So, and this is from Lynn Sorge. Yes, who that from, is from our friend Lynn Sorge. Thank and you she very said, much. Sent Linda one yes. and, and me one. It's a um, it's from Prestige Pecans. Isn't this nice? It's a box of some <laughs> yummy stuff. <laughs> it's a box full of stuff. We've already sampled that. Have you? Okay. Yeah. Well, I just got mine this morning. Now I'm going to let my grandkids help me. Oh my goodness, this key lime cooking. Oh my goodness, that's what I like, key lime. The palms. That's, that's nuts. And what is that, milk chocolate? It's fiddlesticks. fiddlesticks. And it okay. It tastes like uh, the pecan pie. Kind of like the turtles. Divinity and little pecan pie. Well, thank you, Lynn. That was so that sweet. Was very sweet. And a nice little box, too. All right, now you want to see the handy the other one? Thank you, Linda. This is a card, um, Easter card, from Jennifer Asker. Yes. Thank you, Jennifer. Our sweet Jennifer. Happy Easter. And it's even got my name Personalized. on it. Personalized. Wow. Isn't that sweet? Isn't that sweet? That's cool. Wishing you a happy Easter. Thank you for doing all that you all do. We love you all, and don't forget to count your blessings. Jennifer uh, Asker, thank you so much. You're so... So sweet and so kind. Thoughtful, I know. Thoughtful. And then this. This, I've already opened it and I am so proud of this. Little Linda hadn't seen it yet. No, I haven't. I did I wanted to be surprised. And I got one too. I'm so Oh, I yeah, love it. Isn't that beautiful? Oh I love it. A personalized Bible, yes, cover. Bible cover. Oh my With the word. scripture on it. Isn't that beautiful? It has my name. That's she even awesome. got my middle name spelled right. <laughs> Mary Lorraine. Isn't that beautiful? It. So much. I would treasure this. This is, oh my goodness. It's got a little flap. You can put your little notes in. Like, you know, when you're at church taking notes, at least that's what I do. I always get my notes inside my Bible. I was looking at through my Bible the other day. Brother Bowman was preaching. Sometimes I'll mark, you know, something that who preaches all. And I, it's so it's so many years back, back, you know, dated back yeah. that the same message was preached. I love to look through Mama's Bible and nice? see her notes. That's very nice. Thank yeah. you very much Thank for you. our Bible covers and Thank our you. personalized cards, Jennifer. That was yes. very, very sweet. So sweet. That is so nice. 
I never even heard a personalized mail. Have you? No, I haven't. But she, give me those crosses. She said, uh, Jennifer asked her, sent us these c crosses, what, about a month ago? We yes. have, I don't and think we ever sent them with the, show I don't think we did. She sent us a, a set each, and it says, blessed, thankful, and grateful. So I, pretty. I, um, my walls are pretty full, but I was looking around this morning, and I think I found a place I can put them. Did you? Yeah, so I'm going to get Chuck to hang them for me. And she also sent us a, a beautiful wind set of wind chimes from uh, Brad, is it Bradford Exchange? Uh, I've got it and over it there. Has, the, is it a scripture on it? Um, is on the cross. Is that? And they're um, both Mike hung ours on, on the carport and Mary hung hers on her porch, so they're already hung up. Yeah. So um, we 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 can't show them to you because it's a certificate of authenticity. Yeah. Um, came with it. Wind chime collection. And they're beautiful. Yeah. Thank you beautiful. very much. I love wind chimes. So. Um, okay, you're back on. Yeah. The wind, wind. I think is. It's, it's so messy. bad yeah, it lately, does. and it messes up our internet. It just, um, and uh, it blew that tree down that back there. Uh, Chuck's going to start working on that, trying to get that cleared off down there. Um, it's just the wind has just really been popular, and electricity has gone off. Yes, ours so, was off for six and a half hours. I had to clean up both my refrigerators. Yeah, oh, mine, didn't, mine weren't out that long. It was like yeah. less than an hour. But so, do we have any questions, Linda? Um, Easter plans. What are y'all's Easter plans? Well, uh, I'm going to Carla's house in Wichita Falls because that's where all her girls and, and children live. And I get to see Linda and her boys all the time and Chuck and my lovely sister. I don't get to see them others up there in Wichita Falls in Oklahoma area. So I'm going to go up there Easter, and we'll have an Easter dinner and watch the kids hide eggs. And It'll be I, fun. Yeah, I yeah. hadn't been up there in a while. And Linda, you go. And, um, and I'm boring, so um, oh, I'll boring. just fix uh, lunch for us at home. We're not going anywhere. Uh, we'll, I'll, you know, we'll watch our church services, of course, online, and, uh, and just probably chill out the rest of the day. We plan on going to church, too. Linda would love to go with me but she has chosen to stay home with her husband because he doesn't get out and do things like that so linda is sacrificing i'll tell you a sacrifice for her to stay at home but that's what she's doing because that is for her husband yeah i hate to leave him on every holiday yeah. and i do quite often so yeah. i decided and easter is is a really prevalent day yes for us it always has been so um I'm going to probably pick up an Easter lily. Mike loves Easter yeah. lilies. Yeah. And um, y'all know I took a trip to Nacogdoches over the weekend on Sunday. And oh my goodness, the wisterias are blooming. I know And the azaleas are blooming. And I hope I don't start crying. <laughs> but uh, it was a beautiful yeah, drive. Beautiful. Uh, she called me. Um, I was on my way to church and told me she was going. I just. Um, I think everybody, we're together a lot, and sometimes we need some alone time. Because I could have stopped and, not, and, and went with you, but I, I thought maybe she needed some alone time. <laughs> you know? Well, I've been asking everybody to go with me to the cemetery for three weeks, yeah. and nobody wanted to go, so I went by myself. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, just, um, uh, uh, I just, uh, I felt like... Church, we don't have church yeah, on, on Sunday I night, and I just needed to go to church Sunday morning. They're, they're replacing a bunch of bridges on 21, mm -hmm. and uh, for any of you that are map freaks like I am, or geography, um, 21 runs east and west um, through Nacogdoches, and uh, it goes to Sharina, which is where our, you know, um, our parents and a lot of our family are buried either either Cold Springs, the Lees, or either the Pinksons at uh, uh, Upper Charina. And it's it's such a peaceful place. Yes. I know, I know. It's it beautiful. Is. It is. I know. It is beautiful. Um, and it hasn't been that long since I was there. And they keep such good care of the cemetery. They really do a good job, don't they, Linda? They do. Up there. We've got some, uh, several relatives that's buried in that cemetery. Quite a few. 
So um, anyway, then you and then you went on by, drove by the truck by where we used to live. Well, I went through. Um, I went the long way, and there are several ways you can go to Nacogdoches, which is, of course, you you can go, you know, the regular way through here. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know why. <laughs> uh -huh. That's so cool. It's just one of these days. You know, I, um, I, I go through emotions like that sometimes too, uh, thinking about our childhood and the old house is gone now and everything. But um, anyway, I, I think everybody goes through those. And this is just a kind of a fragile time, emotional for Linda. Um, but um, I... Um, like I said, and, and now that I, now that looking back, I might should have gone with her. <laughs> Instead of going to church, I should have gone with her. I didn't realize that she was um, having a really bad day that day. Uh, you know, so ever, it hits you at different times, and, and it's more emotional at other times. And um, so Linda's just going through one of them stages, but pressure does a lot. Though. And, you know, that, that affects you a lot, just pressure that you're under. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I'm glad I didn't eat breakfast this morning because I'm going to eat some of that food. <laughs> it looks so yeah, good. We can eat that. So, um, we should mention about our, our mama's book again since we have uh, new people that um, have just started watching us. So, our mama wrote her life story about eight years before she died. Um, we have wanted to publish this book for a very long time. Yes, we have. And that's one of the reasons when we started, we started doing our the videos. videos was to get Mother's Book out. And so um, we've been able to do that. And I just, with the help of all of you, um, all of our friends out there, um, it's helped make it possible. And we appreciate that. We sure do. Um, so if you want to order a Mama's Story um, or our cookbook, we have one cookbook and we got aprons. and. Um, Go to our website, www.pinkymollskitchen.com. Um, also, if you want to make sure that you're on the right page to watch us on Facebook or YouTube, if you'll go to our website and scroll down, you'll see the uh, social media icons. Click on uh, Facebook or YouTube, and it'll take you straight to our page or channel. And um, let's see, what was something else that somebody was asking us the other day? Um, um, well, if you send a check for a cookbook or mother's book, please put on there whether you want mama's book or cookbook. Because when you say book, now that we've got two, yeah. it's a, it's confusing and we may send you the wrong book. And so it actually has happened. happened so. Yeah. so just please make a note when you send a check, whether it's cookbook yeah. or, or, um, or mama's story. It might be. She may be getting a little emotional because she's going to have a birthday next month. <laughs> no, <laughs> May 13th is Linda's birthday, no. so maybe that, maybe it's your age is making you be emotional. I don't know. As long as I can keep going, I don't, I'm not worrying about the ages. Sometimes I think, you know, I used to, when Mama would go somewhere, because she, she was like us. She had traveling in her blood, and she'd get in her car, and she, you know, she didn't care. She was by, riding by yeah. herself. She yeah. went. And I'm thinking, you know, I'm almost 74 years old. I'm riding by myself. Mike said, you better tell me which way you're going in case I need to go. Oh, Lord. <laughs> well, I'm going, I'm going to Wichita Falls by myself, but I am going to go by Charles and Linnell's. I'm probably going to leave Thursday evening okay. and go by Charles and Linnell's house in Azel and visit, spend the night with them and visit with them and then Friday go on to Wichita Falls. That kind of cuts my trip in half, and that helps a lot. I'm not sure on coming back if I'm going to make a stop or not before I come on home. It just kind of depends what time I leave. See, there's one boss. thing about us, and our mama was this way. We might decide we want to make a detour when we're going somewhere. We don't really, yeah. we don't really uh, tend to, to care if people think we're going straight somewhere. We might want to do something else. And we do it. And we mama do. did the same we thing, did. Mary. We she did. did. We sure. And uh, how many times I couldn't count the times that we told people we were on the way up there. And they would say, where y'all at? They'd want to know when we was going to be there. We would make so many stops in Dallas. Remember, we yeah. Fort Worth, we'd make so many stops until we quit telling them. We quit telling them what time we was going to be there because we was never there whenever 
We told and, them. And we've been on the other end. We've been sitting yes. waiting on somebody. Yes. So it's very hard when you're waiting on somebody to get there and you're excited and right. you're, you know, sometimes you've got food ready and you want to know if they're going to be there. But we have we have our little regular stops that yeah. we like to stop at. We like to stop at Town Talk. Yeah. We used to always stop at Coles there yeah. in Grand yeah, Prairie. Really. But um, that's when the kids, the girls, was younger. Yeah. We'd always stop and buy them something. Now they got them. Well, they're grown. <laughs> got kids, and it's under construction yes, or, or has is. been for a it long is. time. It may not be right. now. Right. But Green, it's, sorry. It's, is it Grand Prairie has the best shopping mall in our area? Yeah. Within right. close, it's my outlets. favorite. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's outlets. In yeah. fact, Linda's been wanting to go up there on a Saturday one day, yeah. and just to we go are. to the shopping center. Yeah. But then you hate to go that far and not see your family. Yeah. <laughs> so, it just, we just enjoy ourselves when we do get out. Do you want to sit down? Do you, do you want to sit down and standing on your feet? I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm, I'm, since I've been wearing these shoes, my heel was, feels a lot better than, than it was. And um, little Linda's got a, a vacation coming up, too. Woo woo! Her and Brayden are going to, uh, it's Disney World, right? Universal Studios. Universal Studios, I'm sorry. For the older kids. And where do y'all go? When are you going? Um, we are going, there, we fly out the 25th. Okay, so not long. Yes. yes. And then all four of us are going to have a vacation. Uh, we're we're uh, going to be on from the 30th until the 6th. And <laughs> we right. were talking this morning. <laughs> I was talking about taking my laptop to do some work on some recipes. <laughs> They're like, this is supposed to be a vacation. <laughs> yeah. we, we're going to try to stop her from working while we're on vacation. If, you know, I understand where she's coming from because sometimes we'll be in the hotel and we're not the type person just sitting around doing nothing. So that's her point. And, it, you know, we might could get some work done. But at the same time, I do think that we both just need to relax and and try not to. But we're going to be working. doing some videos. We, yes. If, if the internet will let us, we're going right. to be doing some videos while we're gone. So. Yes. Did you see what I put on Facebook? You put? I said, I can't wait to relax for two weeks on my vacation. And then I said, just kidding. We're doing all the things. We're eating all the food. We are not resting. <laughs> yeah, that's so true. you can ask Carla, a vacation with me is not going to be relaxing. Yeah. I'll be tired when we get back. <laughs> but yeah, we but we're, we're looking forward to it. Yes. We're all looking forward. A couple of people have asked for your P.O. box. Um, the P our business P.O. box is 863. You can put Pinky Miles uh, Kitchen or either one of our names, whatever whatever you're sending to. And um, P.O. box 863, and it's Kilgore, K-I-L-G-O-R-E, Texas, 7566. Six, three. Now, if you didn't get that down, you can go to our page, Pinky Miles page, and it has that. It has that PO box. And I believe on you it. have to click on Contact Us, right? And it shows the address. I think it's both at the bottom of the page and on Contact. Okay. I think it's both. So it's it's over so there. it is listed on our website and on our on our Pinky yeah. Miles page. And I want to say um, hi to my friend in California. If she's watching us, Kathy LaFage, um, she is somebody that. Um, she's a co-worker that I worked with for several years when I was on the road and I love Kathy and um, um, she watches us when she can yeah. so hi Kathy hi Kathy we love you. <laughs> um, I know we uh, I mean at 10 o'clock last night there was people texting I was going back and forth talking to them so we're not because the time difference you know the time difference right. is different everywhere and so we're busy all the time and we, we love it. We love y'all and, you we know, do. followers. We, we do. love our friends. We may not be able to answer you back with what you think is a timely manner, but we do our best. Mike was um, laughing at my cords on the couch. I hate cords. <laughs> if everything would be wireless, that would just suit yeah. me just fine. But uh, when our electricity went off the other night, we, we used all of our devices and every one of them almost they never went out but they were very very close to going out and so i went i don't know friday and i went to the at&t store and i come home with a sack full of goodies and i'm gonna make sure if that ever happens again i've got me a couple of portable devices yeah. i had an old one but it didn't I'm work sure, with my I'm phone sure. so um i bought two 
one is a little one. You probably know what I'm talking about, Linda, the little slim one. And then uh -huh. the other one actually looks like a phone, but um, it's also a this is battery backup. This is charger. Yeah, I've got one that looks something like, like that. I bought one something it's, like that. It's um, solar powered. Is it? You, well, can, mine's not. you can put it out in the sun with charger. <laughs> It's so hard, and um, and of course you can. You also can charge it electricity, and then then you hook it up to your phone. And I'm telling you, this little thing lasts. It'll charge quicker than my electrical. Is that it, it, it charges it charges my phone quicker than the um, the Apple. Brayden oh, ordered him for Universal. He ordered him a handheld fa fan uh -huh. that is also a portable charger, so he'll oh, have wow. it. Yeah, I know. I that thought that was cool. cool. Yeah. yeah. That is but this right here will charge my little uh, battery. Uh, and where did you get that at? On Amazon? Where? No. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to tell me? No, my um, my son-in-law. Oh, okay, okay. Got it for you. Okay. Yeah. Uh, a couple years ago. That's nice. It's all. He also got me a headband, flash, a light. That's powered by this. Okay. That fits in. Well, that's really nice. And it's got that, what do you call the L? It's a bright, very bright. So when the electricity went off, I just put that thing around my head. I can walk all over the house and have lights. Well, y'all know that um, um, I'm packing a flashlight in my suitcase, mm -hmm. um, probably in my carry on. Have you ever been in a hotel when the electricity went off? I don't think if I, if have I you let me? No. It's very spooky. I've been I'm in two different hotels <laughs> when the electricity went off. One of them, I just so happened that I had an early morning flight that night, and, or that morning, and I had to walk down pitch black stairs, and oh, no. a, a hotel that has no lights is very, very spooky. I'm and we, 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 when we worked in Galveston, they made the hotel reservations a year or two in advance because they knew what the schedule was going to be. And this was not long after one of the hurricanes hit the coast. And so we were staying at the Double Tree. There were no phones. There was no electricity. And they had housed people at this hotel uh, through like a, some kind of a government subsidy program that were mis their housing was misplaced. And um, uh, not to categorize people, but there were some people there that probably had and I, I don't mean this to sound harsh, but had probably never stayed in a double tree hotel. And um, this one night, somebody knocked on my door. And I remember there are no phones in the hotel. You can't even call for help if you need a help. And this guy that was obviously um, a little bit inebriated, uh, he kept banging on my door and asking for these people that used to be there. And he did this for like two or three nights in a row. Oh, my word. A little bit, little bit um, scary that finally uh, the electricity came back on and we didn't have to deal with that anymore, but it's, you know what it's happened? spooky. Yeah, I imagine. You know what happened to me? The only time that I've traveled, just like you, all of the United States, and one time I had a bad incident at a hotel, and it was in Grand Prairie. Oh, oh yes, yes, I remember that. I checked in because I was so tired, I had to stop and, and rest. I was on my way home from somewhere, and I got the hotel, and as soon as I, it wasn't long after I got there, somebody was knocking on my door. And I didn't know with it. I looked through the peephole and it was a man. And I said, could I help you? And he said, yes. He said, um, I need some help. I got run out of gas. So he gave me some kind of excuse and he needed some money for gas. I said, sir, you go down there and talk to the lady at the, um, at the desk, at the front desk, because, um, I um I, I can't help you. I wasn't going to open that door, you know. It wouldn't have either. Probably somebody that saw you walk in there. Did you know that he came back in a few minutes and knocking on my door again? And I said, sir, I told you I can't help you. And he said, the lady at the front desk said to tell you that to give me some money. Oh, my goodness. I called the front desk. And I says, I want to know who told him to knock on my door and ask for money. He said, she said, well, he's just up needing some help. I said, ma'am, don't you ever 
do that to me again. Don't I you ever say out of that hotel. You don't send somebody at my door. I didn't open the door, but I was scared all night. I put chairs and everything else to get to the door. What did you do? I, I mean, I had it dead boat, but that's the only time that I ever had money. And you know what? If I would have met somebody on the street and they asked me for money, I would give it to them, but I'm not opening my hotel door for somebody. Yeah, but you got to be careful about that too, because they might, as soon as well, you pull true. out your wallet, they might rob that's you. True. True. So you do have to be careful. So, but, uh, did you taste my taste salad of On accident. <laughs> <laughs> I know what I know what I know what she's thinking. I got too much dill pickle in it. No, okay. I reached back for my phone oh, okay. and my finger got in it and I was like, oh Lord. <laughs> that was the look on my face. I didn't mean to do it. She had a funny face and I thought, uh oh. No, it was good. Much, I got too much deal in it. No, it tasted really good. I just didn't mean to okay. stick my finger in it. Sorry. So did anybody else ask anything? Um, um, I think I've interrupted y'all with most of them. The only other thing is someone asked me what I was doing for Easter. And um, I am... Uh, my kids are not going to be home, so I'm going to do what I always do when my kids are not home. I'm going to turn into a teenage girl. I'm going to listen to my music way too loud. I'm going to throw my clothes on the floor and dance in the living room. Oh, I thought you were going to church. Well, I mean, on Easter Sunday, I will. Yeah, yeah. Our church is doing something a little different, though, and I mean... I'm not judging them. They they have to do what's best, but because it's so big and we our building isn't built yet, they're having two services on Saturday and then three services on Sunday. And they asked the regulars to come on Saturday. And I just don't know if I can serve the Lord on Easter Saturday. So <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. I'm kidding. But anyway. So. She'll go to church. <laughs> she, let me tell you something. Linda, she likes to cut up and, fall, and frolic and, and say things sometimes, but she's kidding most of the time. When she's frolicking, that's not that's not she's, really who she's Linda trying is. to. to uh, she's just trying to make somebody yeah. laugh, say something funny because she she's um she's a lot more settled than what what she portrays. <laughs> I will say um on the comments and and I don't see all the comments. I don't see all the questions. I wish I saw all the questions because then I would ask. But there's been a couple of people being a little negative, and you have the best followers the people who watch because all of them were very kind but they basically said we don't do that here mm -hmm. they were very positive and they told the negative people we don't th that's not what thank we do on this page yeah, thank you. there's been we numerous too many to count how yeah. many people have said yeah. hey we're positive here and i love that yeah. and yes. we, we appreciate that yes, so much um, somebody made a comment the other day which this was this was funny it was, it was something about uh the difference or something between me and Mary and I, I, I comment, you do know if we read these, right? <laughs> With the laughing face, but, um, you know, we're human too. Uh, of and there is no reason to be unkind. Mm -hmm. If you don't like us, it's okay. Don't follow us. Don't watch us. You know, don't think that you've got to be on there and be some kind of a police that you've got to say bad stuff about us. So, cause this is not what we're about. No, yeah. no, no. We don't, and for, we don't want nothing negative. For yeah. our people that watch us and love us, yes. we love y'all yes. genuinely. We Absolutely. do appreciate Absolutely. every nice comment. For everybody that answers questions yes. while we're filming that we can't get to, we love y'all and thank y'all so much. It means it means so much to us right. for y'all to do that. So um, we will be filming tomorrow at my house. Um, we're going to do a couple of treats. Okay. And, uh, we're actually making, um, so we're going to do strawberry shortcake, and if, uh, and we might have an extra treat too, and I won't say that, but uh, just in case we don't have time, but um, we're going to be making them a little bit different way, Okay. Okay. and um, for our members, um, the recipe is posted, and then Thursday we'll be back here cooking. And I'm going to make something quick and simple Thursday, because <laughs> uh, you're going to leave it right, right. So we hope y'all have a blessed day. If you're in an uh, area where they're forecasting bad weather, please stay safe. And um, always remember to count your blessings. We just have so much to yes. be thankful for. Yes, Mary. we are so blessed. And I'm so thankful for all you followers and friends. And I, I really feel like that we have gained so many friends. We have, I, we have never met you all. Most of very them, few, have very been few. Met. We don't even know these people. We, you know, all you followers. But but through y'all's comments, we and feel like we and, do. And text, we feel like we do know you. 
So we love y'all, and uh, I hope that y'all have a blessed day. And if you don't get to see us uh, the rest of the week, which we hope you can join us, hope you have a blessed uh, Easter. Yes. Don't and get to watch us on replay, share our videos, yes. like our videos. Yes. And we appreciate it so much. And I'm sorry I interrupted That's okay. you. You were saying don't That's forget. Okay. Don't forget to count your blessings. Bye. <laughs> love we love y'all. Bye-bye.